G'day, Alistair here from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video I want to talk about virtual image lists. I'm going to start with a new Windows VCL application and through a button. Button 1 is fine. I'm going to make it a cancel button and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So let's throw it up in the corner there and I want to put an image on it. So historically I've had a centralized repository in a data module. So I'll create a new data module. Throw an image list on, on there. Image list one is fine. Let me get 24 by 24. And I'm gonna make this 32 bit. And add a cancel icon. And as you can see, I'm running CN Wizards, CN Pack installed and so we have our image list we need to use oh, in fact I'll also call this DM images and use unit unit 45 which would be normally D images but I'm too lazy to uh, do that for this video and we set our images and our image index of zero and then we have our cancel button and we can run that and all is great until this goes onto a high DPI monitor. Now I'm going to simulate that by throwing on button high DPI scale for pixels per inch and I'm going to double. So if we do that, and we'll pretend I've just dragged this onto a new monitor which has a, a um, scaling factor of 200%, and it's scaled up, but our little cancel image has stayed the same. And this is a, a big drawback of the old image lists. Now, the solution is on our centralized images data module. We need an image collection. And image collection file one will be fine. Add, and if I go star underscore forty eight dot png, and just add all those. And on the main form, well, on every form, you would add a a virtual image list. Got images 24 and 24 by 24. Oh, image collection not set, which we will set. Add and I suppose I could just add the cancel. In fact, normally I just go uh, select all and um, well, maybe, maybe not. But if I copy and paste that so we now have a second cancel button and if I change the images property to our images 24 and um, it would help if we grab the right image uh, so our cancel and now if you run high DPI our image scales as well and you'll notice it's properly scaled so this is now a 48 by 48 pixel image so it looks great we don't have these little images and that's that's fantastic uh, it does mean however that every form ends up with having a virtual image list on it at least every form that you've got images on buttons and that's pretty much every form in most of my applications and that is rather inefficient it is also a nightmare uh, with form inheritance and so the same with image lists in that if we look at this and we add another, if I add an image to this collection and it's, it might not be properly inherited by any child, anything that's inherited from here because we may have already modified the images to add an extra image for a button that's new and therefore the, the image list won't get inherited. So if you add a button to your base form with an image on it that's not going to propagate through it. It just becomes a bit of a, bit of a uh, uh, very annoying. Anyway, 
So, let's copy and paste this. If our third cancel button, I'm going to take this virtual image list and paste it into here. And that's still our image collection one. And I'm going to set this image list to our uh, virtual image list. Am I? Okay, they're all there. That's cool. Images 24. Ah. Images 24. Okay, there we go. But if I run this and scale, our image is not scaled. Which is is okay. If we if we look at our virtual image list, we'll see that it receives a, um, a handler. So there's this thing where it receives a message of some kind, and it then can do the scaling. So on part of, if it's on the form and you move it to a new uh, new screen that has a different DPI, the images get rescaled, which is all good but the data module doesn't move to a new new screen it doesn't get this message and so things don't get scaled now I, i've noted that many of the applications i work on are sort of single form interfaces that's either 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 some sort of mdi type application or tabbed uh, interface so, something like that so there's a, there's a sort of a main form and all other forms or frames are connected to that um, or embedded within that form. So that means I really only need one image list and that is not the one, not, we don't want to be on the form because there's actually a lot, of, a lot of effort setting that up and keeping that maintained. And if you're using lots of inheritance, it, it becomes a nightmare. So on our data module, we need to send a message to this image list to say, rescale. And to do that on our main form, there is an event called on after monitor DPI changed. And what we want to do is uh, uh, DM images dot images 24 dot set size and we need a width and height uh, scale value. So this will give us our uh, new value. Um, so we want the base value to be 24 and scale value will scale it up to whatever is appropriate for the current pixels per inch. If we have a quick look in that, we see it's just doing a multi-div uh, based on the scale factor. Now, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> with my little hack, this my I don't get a DPI change message, so currently this doesn't work. But if I in in well, where are we going? In this button, um, call this. And we say we, we don't actually care about the values because we're not using them. Um, we and we we could do based on the old value, new value, do our own scale value. But this is a nice thing to see. And now, if I run it, our image is rescaled appropriately. So that's kind of what I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, virtual image lists are fantastic. As I said, they tend not to play very nicely with form inheritance, but neither did image lists either. In fact, I would argue that the image lists are a bit worse because they're a bit harder to manage. Because if we uh, have a look, well, you end up with the whole images being embedded. Whereas in here, um, all we've got are references to images, which is a lot nicer. And it does mean that we can, of course, if we wanted to change uh, oops, for whatever reason, centrally, uh, on our image collection, we can replace that with, say, that one, and go OK. And then everywhere that we're using uh, something that's based on this, the image collection, that all gets updated. So it makes this updating images way easier um, in, in that respect. So 
I hope you found that useful. If you are using you are using a you know sort of some sort of single form interface, you can still get away with putting your image list or virtual image list into a data module. It allows you to centralize the maintenance of it and avoids uh, some of the nastier um, form inheritance problems that you may run into. And it means you don't need an image list for every single form, which is very annoying. So I hope you found this video useful. I will see you in the next video. Uh, I should remind you that uh, to buy my books, let's have a look. So we've got um, the Mega Pack. So Code Better in Delphi is my latest book. Um, well, that's been out for quite a while now. And Code Faster in Delphi is my first book. Uh, so Code Faster in Delphi is all about um, being more productive in the Delphi IDE. So there's lots of tips on making you faster. And the Code Better is all about writing better code. Um, both are, are reasonably short books. They're fairly easy to read. Um, it took a long time editing and re-editing so that the, uh, the, the, the language is very easy to read and follow and a little bit humorous, hopefully. And of course, my mega pack, which I have been doing some re-editing on the building VCL apps videos. I'm still working on v VCL apps part three. Uh, editing video is a very slow process. So uh, <laughs> I've kind of, I haven't been working on that too well, but if you're um, wanting to learn about how the VCL works, yeah, and in re-editing them, I've been reminded of all sorts of things that I should be taking advantage of. So there, there is a lot of content, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff you're probably not aware of. And I hope to at some point do a part four, because um, the, they were made with Delphi XE3. So everything's still relevant, but there's a whole bunch of new controls, uh, which would be nice to cover. So anyway, enough rambling on my part. Uh, do, do buy uh, either my Mega Pack or all, all three books, books and videos. Um, thanks for watching. I'm Alistair Christie, and I will see you in my next video.